Hi, for today's year done. Yes, a black box of this particular shape. You already know what it is. It is an avionics box. And given the black color, the overall shape, the handle here, yes, it is Collins. So we have here the Collins 54W1C. Actually, it is the, excuse me, monitor comparator warning. Here is the, is it even in focus, the model number for you. Uh, serial number 925, weight 13.1 libs. I did check and it is actually the real weight of the device. It is even a little more, and it will be important to will see why. Part number with a customizable group of uh, three digits at the end. Maybe it is also important. So we have on the front one handle, and we have test lights. So it seems to be some kind of uh, monitoring system monitoring lights with a push to test button. Unpopulated light here, a bunch of lights for lock, GS must be glide scope, master, bank, pit, compass, excuse me, and altimeter. But on altimeter, you can see it is a metal cap actually on the light. It is the same cap than the other ones. There is actually a bulb inside, but it is a blind one. As they, if they do not want you to see the, if a bulb is turned on or not. It is quite uh, weird and unexpected, actually. Uh, of course, on the front, your uh, regular Collins red band with a Collins logo. And on the back, your... Uh, regular uh, avionics rack connector do not mind by the way the paint job on this cover I did repaint it because it was in a real bad condition with all the stickers so this side turned not too bad but this other side in fact my uh, can of uh, spray paint was uh, old stock in my garage and it was uh, first uh, almost empty and secondly, not working very well anymore, and the distribution of paint is not good on this side. So when I will get a correctly working can of spray, 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 can of spray paint, excuse me, it is early in the morning here, I will redo probably this side. Okay, but for now, uh, let's put the camera over it and have a look inside this thing, which is some kind of... Uh, analog computer you will see quite amazing okay so removing the cover is just the matter of undoing one screw at the back so this is quite easy so what do you think we have in here so it is super typical 70s I believe era Collins construction with a wall set of plug-in modules that seem to be only uh, analog parts with uh, transistors a wall bunch of them we have an unpopulated spot here and here so are we missing parts or not in fact I do not think so because the weight of the device is correct according to the sticker and if we have a look at the description of the modules, we have uh, output compass pit bank, output glide scope localizer altimeter, delay populated, delay adjust populated, modifier populated, input populated, I believe it is an important one. We have a modifier delay adjust which is not populated. But as we have already a delay adjust, 
maybe the modifier was not uh, necessary in this particular configuration. I uh, threshold adjust. We are missing here a big module of amplifier magnetic, but uh, I believe maybe it is not necessary because here we have a huge module of amplifier magnetic. So this uh, item is, already, is in fact quite common on eBay and not expensive at around 50 to 100 dollars at maximum. And I did check several photos of a similar device for sale. The good thing is that the holes in the cover allow to guess what there is inside even if it is not opened in the eBay photo. And I have seen some with something in here and some without anything. So there are probably different uh, variants according to the airplane configuration. So I do not think we are missing a module here. And I saw here we have no evidence of a removed screw. So apart from this, yes, here at the bottom, huge module of this shielded cans. We will remove it and try to have a better look at it. We have a big transformer with specifications here. On the back here, just the connectors. With some auxiliary, probably uh, power supply related stuff. I can see a bridge rectifier here at the bottom. Some uh, capacitors mounted here. We have between the two uh, frames uh, all the wires distributing everything on the D sub connector. And on the front, just the bulb sockets, as you can see. And you can see the overall very nicely made construction. So now I will unscrew first all of these top modules and we will check them one at a time. So undoing the modules is very simple. Just two screws and pull on them. On the top we always have the model number, the some test points. And here is what they look like, no circuit board. Just Teflon standoffs with components mounted on here. So I have another piece of Collins equipment that is built the same way. And also it reminds me a little bit Textronix oscilloscope construction. Uh, very nice transistors with golden legs. You can see here for instance this one. Here also. And more parts here at the other side. So super old school construction. This uh, transistor does even have gold plated screw and complete gold plated uh, body. New regular connector by uh, Shinch. Serial number and very modular construction. Probably all made by hand. I do not think they did. Uh, I do not know if it was Placing this part was an automated process, process or not. But quite uh, interesting construction because look at the custom bending of each leg at the correct uh, length and uh, angle and everything with a little uh, rounded part at the end of the leg to allow fitting uh, it on the pin here quite amazing. So we have a whole bunch of these modules. They are all more or less the same design. As you can see, not a lot of difference on this one at least. Do we have anything particularly different? This one is not closed. You can see we see all the wiring inside. Some zip ties. Old school zip ties with a metal blade to hold it closed. Uh, electric capacitor or total maybe here. And more of the same parts. 
So here it is interesting to note the transistors are not socketed as I did seen to other equipment, uh, aircraft equipment with a socketed transistor with nothing to hold them uh, really in place. But here they are directly soldered using the legs, which seem to be particularly long legs. As you see, if you check this one, it comes from here to here. So it is uh, probably 4 cm or so something like this. So it seems to be uh, longer than usual for component legs and also gold plated. Each time, of course, with a little uh, clear heat shrink or tube over them to protect against short circuits. Old school uh, carbon resistors. Okay. Next one, same thing except we have some trimmers mounted like this. Uh, actually, seems to be high quality one with uh, two material body, all made by AB brand. Quite nice stuff actually. Next one, nothing different. Except, uh, ah, here we have a relay. General electric. Put it down like this. And here the potentiometer, yes, I did check, I did uh, guess the brand, Burns. So all this must be doing uh, apparently analog signals, comparing uh, or checking or something. Quite obscure piece of equipment, I did not find a lot of information on it. But really nice construction by the way. This one was important. Last of the plug-in modules, this one. Okay, now time to check the big module of the with the amplifier magnetic assemblies. So undoing this module from the frame is just a matter of removing six screws. Here is what it looks like when it is undone. Some resistors hidden in air. And we have here a wall bunch of Torotel amplifier magnetic with all the uh, information here. So I did check in, uh, under this cover, there is nothing, just wires going to the amplifier magnetics, as they call them, magnetic amplifiers, and uh, they are uh, glass insulated uh, pins, as you can see here, maybe. But given the huge amount of screws, I do not really want to undo them another time. Yes, just uh, pins with uh, glass insulation. A few resistors and things like this, but nothing in particular, mostly a huge bunch of wires connecting everything together. And doing this cover is removing all the screws around and also all the screws here with uh, connectors coming loose and they're being quite uh, difficult to reinstall. So here there is another device which I cannot check because it is uh, hidden. As you can see, each one of them is attached with three screws and one bolt in the middle with a big washer. Why they did this and not uh, just reuse uh, one more screw each time? Not sure. Quite interesting and very heavy assembly, by the way.
OK. And I am wondering if this assemblies could be what we are missing in this area. Do it fit or not? Yes, actually. Not easy to tell. Maybe in this direction, yes. This direction, it could fit. Not sure, maybe. We have uh, smaller uh, units uh, populated in here when in use. And so here you can see a little bit more of the wiring of a device. Pink bunch of wires with big ground points here. The back side of the connector for you. And I guess it is all for this device. Here we have mode info sticker which is not populated. Quite uh, nice, very typical old school calling construction. So I guess it is all for this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.